Okay, here's a tip for Connected Components Workbench uh, based on a question we've been getting uh, during the labs. And that is, how do I quickly change a contact in the program without having to delete it? Uh, we've been finding that uh, when you right click on here, there's really no way to change the element. Uh, there is an option to delete or cut it. Um, if I were to say insert uh, a ladder element here, uh, direct contact, it's going to actually add a new contact into the rung. So is there an easier and better way to do it? And the answer is yes. It's just that it's a little bit of a hidden, hidden secret. Um, if I were to click again on this contact, say I want to make this contact now a normally closed contact, I can right click and choose properties. That'll open up the properties pane here on the right hand side. Now, the reason why um, this wasn't really intuitive is because they use the term modifier and then a direct contact. So if I were to actually click in this box, we now see a pull down menu uh, appears and I can choose reverse contact. When I do that, the contact changed to normally closed. If I go back to direct contact, it goes back to normally open. So it's as simple as that. Uh, but there is another way to do it um, that uh, some people might like if you enjoy typing. Uh, and that is up here, kind of hidden above the, the ladder uh, editor, are two gray bars and there's a white line between the two. And if I were to take that, you can see now my uh, arrow, my mouse changes to where I can actually drag this. I can actually open this up. And this lets me see kind of the text string of what this ladder is down here. So going back to some uh, older Alan Browley PLC programming days, uh, there, there was the ability to kind of write out the, the Boolean instructions in this kind of shorthand method. And in those days, the term uh, was, you know, they used these um, XIC and XIO terminology to stand for examine when closed and examine when open. So basically it was the, the shorthand uh, method of a normally open contact and a normally closed contact. Now, in this case, the C uh, is actually would be used, XIC would be used to put a normally open contact and an XIO would be used to, uh, to place a normally closed contact. So the way to do this is pretty simple. I just uh, take that XIC and I change it to XIO. And when I do that, it becomes a normally closed contact. If I were to uh, go back to XIC and back to normally open. So the one uh, catch here is to be careful, and that is the natural kind of inclination when you're typing is to always kind of hit enter, right? I just made an XIO, I hit enter. Well, if I do that, that will really mess things up. So we'll be careful to not enter. That's basically what's creating this. When I hit enter, it basically created a second rung. It, it split the rung into two. So I can do a quick control Z and put that back to the way it was and uh, correct my mistake. I'm gonna go ahead and make that back to an XIC uh, just to put it back to the way it was originally. So that's it, uh, two, two easy methods to change this without having to delete the contact and insert a new one.